Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, today is Friday, March 24th, and today I want to talk about how I had a comeback day from a $200 deficit. Um, this is Tradezilla. This is my um, journaling. And today I was trading on my evaluation account for Tradevate and Apex. And we're going to go through all of my trades today. So um, I started off with a simple scalp here today. And it was actually right before the open. So um, right at about like 9, really like 9.29 exactly. Um, there was a big run up in, in volume in these last couple of minutes. And I just took a quick scalp. It was five contracts. I knew it was just going to keep going up because it kept running up until the bell. And I was in and out in probably 15 seconds. Let's see. Um, whatever that math is. Uh, two seconds plus six. Eight seconds. Yeah, so I was in and out in eight seconds and made 30 bucks. Um, that was a good day, a good way to start your day. Um, and so... Um, I didn't really have a plan for that. Everything just kind of looked good. And um, I, I was glad to have a little bit of cushion going into my next trade here. $162 loss. This was this was pretty brutal, but I wanted to go over um, kind of how things played out. This trade happened at 1037. And uh, I want to go over here to this. So right at like 1037, right about here. Um, this was my scalp in the beginning of the day. I scalped into VWAP, and um, this is 1037, which was uh, my long position here. So my thought process here was um, 3937 had played uh, resistance or support for uh, in the pre-market, and I had played uh, support again at 949. So what I was thinking was that, you know, the sellers weren't present yet. We had a lot of buying pressure, huge bounce off of that level. And I was just assuming this was just a normal pullback here. Uh, I did see this large wick, a lot of buying pressure. We got a new high for the day. And so at this point, I'm thinking, well, things are looking pretty bullish. You know, I was kind of waiting for a pullback. And so I, I saw this pullback um, almost into VWAP. So I'm looking at v almost getting into VWAP. I saw some buying pressure with this candle. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have waited for this candle to close and then maybe this candle to close, but I ended up entering on this position right here and, um, which I don't think it was, my analysis was not incorrect necess necessarily. I was just wrong on my timing. So this was far too early to get in. Um, and you're going to notice that's kind of the trend of, um, my decisions today was really just bad timing so again i was trying to go long here and you'll see my next couple of trades were what got me in trouble so that's 162 dollars loss there it's trading five contracts um next trade same exact thing so what i'm doing is i was trying to get long just in a different entry so my first entry was right here and my second entry was here and if we switch back over to thinkorswim the second entry was right here and I was entering basically on um, the attempt to break through VWAP. In hindsight, probably wasn't a great idea. Um, again, not waiting for the candle to close for confirmation and realizing maybe just this large wick was probably a turnoff and had it closed above VWAP would have been a much better entry. Um, but, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, so... That one I I actually downsized because I was kind of upset that I lost $160 on the tr on last trade. So downsized to about three con three MES contracts, and the losses were a little bit smaller. And then the very next trade, I did the same thing again. So I was um, longing that same pullback. And this was just a couple of minutes afterwards. I waited till um, this large wick closed, this wick closed, um, and then I started to see this buying pressure again here. And again, this wick tested the same VWAP level right through here. So again, not a good decision. Uh, ended ended up getting in and out pretty quick here. Kind of disappointed. I think, again, my analysis was still to take the market long because everything was still looking pretty bullish. I think 
just being super impatient, you know, trying to get long here, trying to get long here and trying to get long here instead of just waiting for it actually to make the move and, and to finish the pullback and to actually ma make a move up. That would have been probably the best thing to do. Um, you know, hindsight's 2020, still trading three micro contracts here. So that kind of sucks, but I'll get over it. Basically, just need to have a little bit better timing, be a little bit more patient and not try to go not try to force the market to do something before it's ready to do something. So um, the next trade was my final and last trade. And I want to talk about this one a little bit more than the other ones, um, just because I actually finally executed on what I was hoping to do. And unfortunately, the breakout or the, the pullback really didn't actually lead to any continuation in the upside. And um, so this was a huge drawdown. This actually came pretty close. I'll go back to Thinkorswim here. This was the drawdown right here. And we came pretty close to this 39, 37 level again. And I was viewing this as, you know, this whole demand zone down here, basically from like, 39.45 down to 39.37 seemed to be pretty strong because if you look at all the, all of the excuse me all of the buying pressure out of this zone this is a lot of buying pressure this is a lot of buying pressure and then even here it wasn't as intense but it was consistent and it was um, obviously Friday trading on Fridays was pretty tough and just kind of uh, choppy and very wicky and felt like there's a lot of like um, stop loss hunts you know I, got, I myself got caught in a couple of these stop loss hunts here these large wicks these pullbacks to get stop losses so i'm the primary victim of a lot of this stuff um but going back to this trade i got in pretty early um what 10 15 minutes after the very bottom um again i was i would I, I got long here attempting we had just broken kind of the wicks on this low, and I was hoping that we would, I sh in hindsight, should have waited here. Um, I got in right before this little pullback. I got in long three contracts, and I was pretty confident in this. I did, I, I was expecting a little bit of a pullback, and I set my stop loss down here at like 39.45 or 40, yeah, around there. So I had a pretty large stop loss, so I wasn't too concerned about this pullback here. And... Um, it ended up taking off, which was really nice. Um, we had a couple of moments, a couple of drawbacks, but nothing I was too scared of. Um, right here where this huge blow up is, uh, 39.60, that was right at VWAP. So again, I'm holding this entire position. So I entered, let's see, I entered right here on this green candle, right before this pullback. We bounced off of yesterday's low of day, got some buying pressure, had a little checkup. Things started to slow up a little bit here. Um, we, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. That's not how you do that. So, um, got in right here, waited the pullback, bounced off of yesterday's low of day. This started to get a little slow for me. So I'm still holding three contracts here. Um, at this point, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on VWAP because there was a big seller at 3960 on the book map. And we didn't seem to be making any progress. You know, this wick right here tested above VWAP. This wick, um, this was just, it felt so slow. I mean, we'd, we'd make progress, we'd pop below VWAP. And then we'd make progress, we'd pop below VWAP. Finally, we ended up taking that seller out. And as soon as it did, it just took off. Keep in mind, this is a one-minute candle. This is not a five-minute chart. This is a one-minute candle. So we went from um, 39.58 to 39.68 so really a 10 point candle in one minute um, and that's where things started to change and get really interesting for me so um, keep in mind this trade ended up being about 237 dollars and the reason i want to come back in here is to talk about my exit so i i kind of pieced this one out and um, i took these two off at the top which was i felt pretty good about that i i Ended up taking about like $180 of the $237 move up here. And this third one, I was, um, I left a runner, you know, I, I was expecting some, some bit of a pullback and I was like, okay, I can handle all these red candles. I can handle these red candles. 
Um, this green candle, this didn't strike me, didn't give me a lot of confidence. So I wasn't entirely sure about how to like, if I should keep it going because I was like, okay, I'm not getting any like intense buyers, kind of like these two candles prior. So ended up just taking another 60, um, 50, 60 bucks here to bring me to 237. Um, and that was the last trade of the day. I basically finished, I ended up finishing the day at um, $23 and um, $23 75 cents. So um, my first day trading this new account and we're in the green, so that's awesome. Um, just kind of wanted to break down all of my trades today and really just um, now that I'm on Trade Evade again, I can actually start using Tradezilla. I couldn't figure out how to import my trades from NinjaTrader, so they are not on here, and I, I haven't been really doing much the past couple of weeks because I've been on NinjaTrader for so long. So hopefully now that I'm on Trade Evade again, I can start importing my trades and then actually having a decent analysis on Tradezilla because this app is pretty awesome. So um, that's really all I have today. Uh, again, $23 win. I'll take it on a Friday. It's great to end the week on green. And uh, that's it. So that's all I have for you. I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.